Hello, Jesse here with GPS City. I'm going to show you how to calibrate your custom map using Google Earth. Once you calibrate your custom map, you can load it onto a memory card and place into your Garmin Oregon, Dakota, or Colorado GPS unit. First thing you want to do in Google is to zoom in to the approximate area the map uh, picture will show up in. Then we need to open it. We need to add it as a image overlay, not a photo, an image overlay. And it's going to bring up a dialog box in a second here. In this dialog box, we're just going to browse for our, our file. Okay, I have it in my root folder here. There's our test map, and then we just need to open it. Now that it's opened, we need to line it all up and make sure it's the right size. Right now it's way too large um, and it's not in the correct orientation. So we're going to want to change that. I recommend that you play with this opaque clear setting. Move her about halfway, that way you can see what's underneath and you could always go adjust this as you move it around. So I'm going to move this map by clicking on the center of it in the middle of the, those crosshairs. And then we're going to line up the uh, map with the lake. And then now we're going to shrink it by grabbing one of the corners and shrink it right down. And then again, move it to where it's supposed to be. It's probably best now that we zoom in because we're going to be able to see everything. Plus also the map is still too large. So I am zoomed in. And when I make this a little easier to see, you'll see this lake is too wide compared to what's below it still. So let's zip that right down a lot more. Move that map over to where it's supposed to be. Okay, there we go. Now we could zoom in. And I'm going to use highways and railways and waterways to line everything up. If, if you take a look right here, you can see a white line in behind and then we have a red line here. The red is just a highway and that white line in behind, that's the highway on the Google map. So we're going to want to line those up. So I'll grab the center of our custom map and just move it up until those lines line up. And then you're going to also want to take a look at other things. You've got a little island there, and you can see just underneath the map, the islands kind of over top of each other. And you just keep doing that until everything is as close as you can get it. It's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to uh, live with a little bit of errors, but you're going to have your own custom map, which is cool. Once everything is lined up, we have to change the view or the... Uh, the draw order. We need a minimum 50 according to Garmin. Uh, this is going to show up uh, basically when trails show up when you're using Garmin topo maps when you're zoomed right in. When you're zoomed way out it's not going to show up. So you got to zoom in to see it. And once that is done, um, everything's good. We just hit OK. Once we hit OK, uh, we could send this uh, image overlay to our GPS. But first, let's save it. Sorry. Just right click on the file, go uh, save place as, and it's going to save it as a KMZ. Give it a descriptive name. And once that's done, you can save it and then transfer it to your Garmin GPS, which I'll show you next. For more information on how to use the custom maps feature in your Garmin handheld GPS or just uh, purchase a compatible unit, visit GPS City.